Hey guys, we all have ungrateful customers from time to time that are not happy with the service we provide. Uh, partially because it's their fault, uh, our fault, or you know, ball got dropped. Anyways, this is the first customer I had in a very long time that was ungrateful for me for fixing his forklift. Now, the story is that it did take about two and a half months to repair this unit. Just because the guy wasn't pressing the situation of calling us, you know, trying to get updates or telling us to come out here today, whatever. This guy, you know, very plainly said, my forklift broke, can you fix it? Whenever. He said, you know, pretty much whenever. When you tell someone whenever, that means no rush. So, what happened is that they sent another mechanic out two times before me. He... You know, from like an hour and a half drive to the location, back to the shop, and you know, diagnostics, whatever. They took him two trips to find out that the ECM was bad after the VSM got burnt. So, before they ordered the ECM, because the price is just enormous on ECMs, they sent me out there to see what I could find out. And... The first trip, you know, I pretty much done every single troubleshooting he did just to find out the ECM is bad. So, I told him, yeah, I need the ECM, order it. Uh, you know, the customer never called and complained about, you know, the situation or taking so long or get quotes, whatever. I submitted the part to get quoted. Uh, since the customer didn't make too much of a complaint at that time, I didn't, you know, keep on pressing my parts guy like I probably should have been anyways either way the customer or me didn't press to get this forklift fixed because the customer just didn't seem like he cared that much about this unit until today I went there and put the VSM on I mean the ECM on and you know the whole story is that he, I was supposed to bring the old VSM to prove to him that it was the ECM and not the VSM because he doesn't want to buy both of them but, you know, when an ECM goes bad, it usually back, uh, you know, backloads pressure and blows VSM or, you know, situation, blah, blah, blah. And either way, when you open the VSM, it's the electronic piece, and they do not buy electronics once you unwrap them. That, that was the point I was trying to make to, make to this guy. Before this clip, I'm going to show you, me and this guy was arguing for about 15 minutes. I was trying to tell him that... Even though it doesn't need the, even let's just let's just say that only the ECM was bad, the VSM was good. You cannot warranty the VSM because it's, it's electronic and it's opened. They don't do that. Like you know, when you go to the store, you buy electronics from like O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever. When you when you get that, you walk out the door, you open the electronic piece. It's yours. You bought it. They cannot take it back. So you know, situation for us. I put something on that's electronic. That's it. You own it. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad. You bought it. You wanted it. End of story. You know. So about 15 minutes going back and forth between this me and this guy, he asked for my boss's number. So I say, okay, here's my boss number. Call him. His name's blah 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 blah. And this is about a minute and two minutes from when he called him. This is what happened. Yeah, I've told I've told this guy personally sitting right here to bring it back. I own the place, and I own the forklift. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's obvious, I just told you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, $2,400, you're gonna charge me to drive a Freeport back? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, okay. You still. What I'm saying is, I want you to bring the VSM that was bad, supposedly bad, back over to prove to me that it isn't bad. Actually, exactly what I told your technician to do to begin with. No, you are not going to charge me to drive away with it because I told him the last time he was coming back when he brings that, this computer, bring it with him.
That's what I told him. No, I ain't saying that. I I'll be happy to pay for it if it's wrong. Okay. Okay, so I guess you're going to credit me that $900 be a me. And, and the trip charge to come here and, and troubleshoot and nothing worked out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, deduct it off the bill and I'll be happy to pay you then. Want to bet? It's paid with American Express. I'll deduct it myself if you don't deduct it. I ain't having it. <laughs> you remember the customer, you got to be not, you got to have customer relations. You realize how many times you've been out here troubleshooting and how long it is in between trips? You realize how long it is in between trips? Do you understand that? And then you, then you come out and just do the shade tree mechanic and, and change parts. Yeah, yeah. 18 times later the whole point is I asked to bring back the old computer the $900 one <laughs> oh, listen here buddy you ain't doing nothing you know why cuz Customer's always right, and you'll learn that here real quick. Like, let me go ahead and speak to your boss. We'll let him see how this goes. You're over the service department. Yes. Okay. There's a GM over that department. Oh, really? Sure. <laughs> That's easy. All you can do is bring back that part and prove to me that it, it's not it. I'm sure it is. Yeah, that threw it away. You can bring it back anytime. Yeah. When you come back, when you come back and show me that computer was actually bad, no problem. Why not? I've waited six months. You tell me you can't wait, but I can. He's right here. He's listening to you. Got your speakerphone. He didn't take it off. He wasn't the one that took it off here. He's sitting right here. I didn't tell him. He I told the other guy. guy. Damn, that's, that's on my cane. No, it ain't Matt's fault. I told the other guy that was here last time. Okay, well, no, no, don't worry about it. I'll, uh, you gonna take it off the ticket or no? Huh? Okay. So, are we good? Are we good? Are we good for now? Can we bring the other one back? Hello? I guess you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> Why does he get off trying to eat? Don't talk to customers like that. Matt, don't ever do that, dude. You're a nice guy. Don't ever try to be like him. Yeah, but I, I know the system, man. When that messes up, it burns the dial on the inside and it makes that VSM no good. Okay. I get your point, but. Yeah, that's it I, yeah i gotta have a point you can't just sit here and keep chunking dead, dead you can't chunk money at a dead horse and realize okay no big deal you know it didn't work out for me but i'll keep charging i've been this bit of this <laughs> boat he says i'm not a mechanic i got a nice see if he calls me a minute i got see if he wants to pull the power off. Car I work on all the time yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. No, I appreciate you getting working. It's it's the way it got it's the way it got working. It's the problem. You know. Y'all got computers. That's why it got that's why I got sent to y'all because it's a computer issue. Y'all supposed to be able to troubleshoot it just like that. It's like anybody does a car. <laughs> Pulls up a code, you know what it is. Am I now right? It's questionable. No. I shouldn't even been taking off all day. But we did that because they got the harness that arms up here, uh, and then it goes up. There's like a small little hole, and usually they rub right there and mess uh, it up. No, it, it just right off the bat he got defensive because he done lost the part. I know where it is, but he didn't tell me to bring it last time because it's usually like a throwaway piece when that burns up. Well, when the customer it's says you bring it back, you bring it back. Different mechanics. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's 12 different ones come out here. I don't know how they go keep that shit straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that definitely worked. Yeah, he didn't bring he didn't bring back those parts, so. Huh? I asked him earlier. As you can see, this guy who was kind of mad, you know, because supposedly it took too long for him, but he didn't, like I said, he didn't press the situation on getting it repaired as soon as possible. And he lied. It was only, like I said, two and a half months. It was not six months. If it was six months, he must have called a different company besides the one I work for because it was only two and a half months that the unit was down. And uh, 16 texts or 18 texts, whatever he said, that's the outrageous number. Like I said, it was only me and one other guy who went to look at this unit. And we both concluded that ECM is bad. But in order to do that, you had to troubleshoot the VSM because, you know, VSM comes before the ECM on starting the forklift on this uh, high serve. So, you know, the guy wasn't happy with the service supposedly he got, but, you know, that's the whole story that uh, don't be this guy, you know. Don't be a smart aleck per se. Don't be ungrateful to someone, you know, helping you out.